Dr. Marcus Wright was known in the scientific community for his unconventional methods and unparalleled curiosity. Working late one night in his cluttered lab, he was engrossed in an experiment when a notification popped up on his screen. It was an encrypted message from a Dr. Alex Hayes, an old friend and former colleague. The message was brief, yet tantalizingly cryptic, coordinates to an uncharted planet and a vague reference to a discovery that could redefine their understanding of the universe. Intrigued, Marcus immediately reached out to Alex, but received no response. The silence only heightened his curiosity. Alex was an explorer known for his wild adventures and significant finds. If he thought something was important enough to contact Marcus, it had to be monumental. Marcus spent the next few hours decoding the message and researching the coordinates. The planet, located in a distant and rarely explored sector, was a complete mystery. No known expeditions had reported anything of interest there, making Alex's message even more compelling. Unable to contain his excitement, Marcus decided to investigate personally. He knew the university wouldn't approve of an unsanctioned expedition, so he gathered his personal funds and resources. His ship, the Endeavor, was equipped with the latest technology and ready for a long journey. He quickly packed his essentials, ensuring he had all the equipment necessary for any potential discoveries. As the endeavor lifted off, Marcus felt a mix of anticipation and anxiety. The vastness of space was both daunting and exhilarating. For a moment, he pondered the wisdom of embarking on such a risky venture alone, but his curiosity and the potential for groundbreaking discovery outweighed any doubts. After days of traveling through the cold, empty expanse of space, the Endeavor approached the coordinates. The planet, shrouded in swirling clouds and dense foliage, appeared untouched by any known civilization. As he descended through the atmosphere, Marcus marveled at the landscape. It was a world of towering trees, sprawling jungles, and vast mountain ranges. Landing near a set of ancient ruins, partially hidden by overgrowth, Marcus felt a thrill of discovery. He had stumbled upon something extraordinary. Stepping out of his ship, he scanned the area, finding traces of a long-lost civilization. The ruins were unlike anything he had ever seen, with intricate carvings and massive stone structures that hinted at advanced engineering skills. In the center of the ruins lay the artifact, a large metallic object covered in strange symbols and markings. It pulsed with an otherworldly energy, almost as if it were alive. Marcus approached cautiously, his scientific mind racing with possibilities. He began a preliminary analysis, noting the artifact's complex mechanisms and unique materials. As he worked, the significance of his find began to sink in. This artifact was not only ancient, but incredibly advanced. It held secrets that could potentially unlock new technologies and knowledge. The symbols, though unfamiliar, seemed to form a coherent pattern, suggesting a sophisticated form of communication or control. Marcus spent hours meticulously documenting and studying the artifact. The deeper he delved, the more he realized its true potential. It wasn't just a relic. It was a key to something far greater— but what that something was remained a mystery. Lost in his work, Marcus felt a sudden pang of unease. The artifact's energy seemed to resonate with a hidden power, and he couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. The ruins, though silent, held an air of anticipation, as if waiting for someone or something to awaken their secrets. Determined to uncover the truth, Marcus continued his research— unaware that his discovery had already set off a chain of events that would draw the attention of powerful forces from across the galaxy, forces that would stop at nothing to control the artifact and the incredible power it promised. The Endeavor's sensors pinged a warning, breaking Marcus's concentration. He glanced at the display and saw several unidentified ships entering the planet's atmosphere. His heart raced as he realized the significance of his find had already attracted attention. 
he quickly packed his notes and equipment, securing the artifact in a containment unit. With no time to waste, Marcus activated the ship's cloaking device and watched the alien ships land near the ruins. He observed their occupants, tall, imposing figures clad in advanced armor, their movements precise and coordinated. These were not mere explorers, they were soldiers. As they began scanning the area, Marcus knew he needed to act fast. He couldn't allow them to find the artifact or capture him. Slipping out of the ruins, he moved stealthily through the dense foliage, making his way back to the Endeavor. Just as he reached the ship, he heard voices behind him. The soldiers had discovered his presence. Marcus darted inside, sealing the hatch behind him. He fired up the engines, the ship lifting off just as the soldiers started firing. Dodging their attacks, he quickly plotted a course away from the planet. Once in the safety of space, he activated the autopilot and took a moment to catch his breath. Realizing the artifact's value, Marcus decided to reach out to someone who could help him decipher its secrets and protect it. He thought of Dr. Thrax, an expert in alien languages and ancient technologies. If anyone could help, it was him. But first, Marcus needed to shake off the alien soldiers who were undoubtedly tracking him. For days, Marcus navigated through asteroid fields, nebulas, and uncharted space, evading his pursuers. Despite his best efforts, the alien ships remained relentless. It became a game of cat and mouse, with Marcus using every trick in his book to stay one step ahead. Finally, he managed to make contact with Dr. Thrax, transmitting a coded message explaining his situation and requesting a meeting. Dr. Thrax responded quickly, directing Marcus to a hidden research station located in a remote part of the galaxy. It was a risky move, but Marcus had no other options. Arriving at the station, Marcus was greeted by Dr. Thrax, an enigmatic figure with a reputation for solving the most complex mysteries. Thrax was fascinated by the artifact and immediately began analyzing it confirming Marcus's initial findings about its significance. As they worked together, the station's defenses alerted them to the presence of the alien soldiers. The station, equipped with advanced cloaking and defensive systems, managed to hold them off for a while, but the soldiers were persistent, and it was only a matter of time before they breached the defenses. Realizing the urgency, Marcus and Thrax intensified their efforts they discovered that the artifact was indeed a map, leading to a powerful energy source hidden within a massive structure built by an ancient extinct civilization. This power source, if harnessed, could alter the balance of power in the galaxy. Determined to find and secure it before the soldiers did, Marcus and Thrax made a daring escape from the station, the artifact safely in their possession. As they navigated through treacherous space, Thrax revealed more about the ancient civilization and the potential dangers of the power they sought. Unbeknownst to them, their journey was about to attract more attention than they had anticipated, drawing in not only the alien soldiers, but also other factions interested in the artifact's secrets. The race to uncover the ancient power had only just begun, and Marcus found himself at the center of a galaxy-wide conflict that would test his resolve, ingenuity, and courage. Marcus and Dr. Thrax navigated through the vast expanse of space, their ship cloaked and traveling at high speed to avoid detection. The artifact sat securely in the containment unit, its symbols glowing faintly. As they plotted a course to the coordinates revealed by the artifact, the enormity of their mission began to sink in. Their destination was a star system on the edge of known space, home to a planet rumored to be the resting place of the ancient civilization's greatest achievements. Marcus and Thrax knew that every major power in the galaxy would be interested in what they were about to uncover. The journey was perilous. They had to avoid not only the persistent alien soldiers, but also navigate through regions of space filled with natural hazards and hostile territories. As they approached their destination, Marcus noticed an increase in encrypted communications from various factions. 
it was clear that word of their discovery had spread far and wide. Upon entering the star system, they found the planet, a desolate, barren world with towering ruins and expansive, ancient structures. The atmosphere was thin, and the landscape was a stark contrast to the lush planet where Marcus had first found the artifact. The coordinates led them to a massive structure at the heart of an ancient city, partially buried under centuries of dust and debris. Landing the ship near the entrance, Marcus and Thrax donned their protective suits and ventured out. The silence of the planet was eerie, broken only by the soft hum of their equipment. As they approached the structure, they could feel a faint vibration emanating from within. Inside, the structure was vast and complex, with corridors and chambers that seemed to stretch on endlessly. The walls were covered in intricate carvings and symbols, similar to those on the artifact. It was a testament to the advanced nature of the civilization that once thrived here. Using the artifact as a guide, they navigated the labyrinthine passages, moving deeper into the structure. The deeper they went, the stronger the vibrations became. It was as if the structure itself was alive, responding to their presence. Finally, they reached a massive chamber at the core of the structure. In the center of the chamber was a colossal machine, ancient and covered in the same glowing symbols as the artifact. As they began to study the machine, they heard a faint noise behind them. Turning, they saw the alien soldiers had tracked them down. A fierce firefight broke out, the chamber echoing with the sounds of energy weapons and shouts. Marcus and Thrax took cover, using their knowledge of the structure to their advantage. During the battle, Marcus noticed that the artifact was reacting to the machine, its glow intensifying. Realizing that the artifact might be the key to activating the machine, he and Thrax fought their way to the center of the chamber. With the soldiers closing in, Marcus inserted the artifact into a slot on the machine. The chamber filled with a brilliant light as the machine roared to life. The vibrations grew stronger, and the ground trembled. The alien soldiers, momentarily blinded by the light, hesitated. Seizing the opportunity, Marcus and Thrax activated the machine, triggering a sequence that resonated throughout the structure. Suddenly, the ancient city around them began to awaken. Structures that had lain dormant for millennia powered up, and the energy from the machine created a protective barrier around Marcus and Thrax. The soldiers, realizing they were outmatched, retreated. As the machine stabilized, Marcus and Thrax studied the readouts. The power source was a massive energy core, capable of generating immense amounts of energy. It was the legacy of the ancient civilization, a gift and a warning to any who discovered it. Marcus knew they couldn't let this power fall into the wrong hands. They needed to secure it, study it, and understand its full potential. With the alien soldiers temporarily driven off, they had a brief moment to regroup and plan their next move. The race for control of the ancient power was far from over, and they would need all their wits and resources to protect it from those who sought to exploit it. With the machine now active, Marcus and Dr. Thrax hurriedly studied the readouts. The ancient power source emitted a stable energy signature, but deciphering its full potential and operating parameters would take time. They needed a secure location to analyze the data and form a strategy for safeguarding the power, the barrier generated by the machine provided a temporary reprieve from the alien soldiers, but Marcus knew it wouldn't last. They needed to move quickly. Using the ship's advanced sensors, they scanned the surrounding area for any hidden passages or exits that could lead them to safety. Thrax found a series of tunnels beneath the city, likely ancient maintenance routes, that had remained undisturbed for centuries. These tunnels could provide a covert escape route with no time to waste, Marcus and Thrax gathered their equipment and made their way to an entrance hidden behind a large stone panel in the chamber. Navigating the dark, winding tunnels, they relied on Thrax's expertise to interpret the ancient markings that guided their path. 
The tunnels were vast and complex, but Thrax's knowledge of ancient civilizations helped them avoid traps and dead ends. As they progressed, the energy readings from the artifact began to fluctuate, indicating that the power source was resonating with something deeper within the tunnels. Thrax theorized that there might be additional control nodes or auxiliary power sources spread throughout the city, designed to amplify the main power core's output. Their path led them to a massive underground cavern filled with ancient machinery, dimly lit by the faint glow of the artifact's symbols. This cavern housed several smaller energy cores, interconnected by a web of conduits and control panels. Marcus realized that these secondary cores were part of a larger network designed to distribute and regulate the power throughout the entire city. Before they could fully explore the cavern, their ship's sensors alerted them to the presence of a new threat. A fleet of alien ships had entered the star system. These ships belonged to a different faction, one known for its ruthlessness and technological prowess. Marcus and Thrax understood that this new enemy would stop at nothing to seize the power source. Desperate to buy time, Marcus and Thrax devised a plan. They would activate the secondary cores to create a powerful energy field around the city, deterring any further incursions and allowing them to stabilize the main power source. This field would not only protect them, but also mask the energy signatures, making it difficult for the alien factions to pinpoint their location. Working quickly, Marcus and Thrax synchronized the artifact with the secondary cores, channeling their energy into the central control node. As the field began to form, the cavern hummed with a low-frequency vibration. The energy network pulsed with life, sending waves of power through the ancient conduits. Just as the energy field stabilized, an explosion rocked the cavern. The ruthless alien faction had discovered their location and launched an assault. The energy field held, but the intense bombardment threatened to destabilize the entire underground network. Amidst the chaos, Marcus and Thrax realized they needed to relocate the artifact and the primary power core to a more secure location. They quickly devised a plan to transport the power core using a series of ancient transport pods they discovered in the cavern. These pods, though old, were still functional and capable of moving heavy machinery through the tunnels. As they prepared the transport pods, the alien forces intensified their attack, breaching the energy field in several places. Marcus and Thrax had to fend off the invaders while ensuring the safe relocation of the power core. The situation grew more desperate by the minute, with the cavern's structural integrity at risk. With no time to spare, they loaded the power core into the transport pods and set them on their path through the tunnels. Marcus and Thrax fought a running battle against the aliens, using every ounce of their ingenuity and resourcefulness to protect the core. Finally, they reached a hidden underground chamber far from the main cavern, this chamber, reinforced and isolated, was the perfect location to safeguard the power core and continue their research. As they secured the core and sealed the chamber, they knew they had only bought themselves a temporary respite. The galaxy was now fully aware of the ancient power source, and more factions would soon converge on their location. Marcus and Thrax needed allies, resources, and a deeper understanding of the power they had uncovered. The real battle for the ancient power had just begun, and they were at the heart of a conflict that would determine the fate of the galaxy. As Marcus and Dr. Thrax secured the power core in the hidden chamber, the gravity of their situation weighed heavily on them. The galaxy's most powerful factions were converging on their location, and they needed to find a way to protect the power source while deciphering its full potential. Dr. Thrax, ever the analytical mind, proposed reaching out to a clandestine group known as the Order of the Vortex. This secretive organization was rumored to possess vast knowledge of ancient civilizations and advanced technologies. If anyone could help them understand and protect the power core, it would be the Order. Marcus was hesitant, knowing that contacting the Order came with risks. However, 
they had little choice. Using a secure communication channel, they sent an encrypted message detailing their discovery and the urgency of their situation. They could only hope the order would respond favorably. While waiting for a reply, Marcus and Thrax worked tirelessly to reinforce their position and continue their research. They analyzed the data from the artifact and the power core, uncovering more about the ancient civilization and the true purpose of the energy source. It was not just a power generator. It was a key to a vast network of similar cores spread across the galaxy, capable of immense and interconnected energy distribution. After several tense hours, a response came from the Order of the Vortex. They agreed to meet, providing coordinates to a secret location in deep space. Marcus and Thrax knew it was a gamble, but they had no other options. They prepared the endeavor for departure, ensuring the power core was securely stowed. The journey to the Order's coordinates was fraught with danger. They had to navigate through regions controlled by various factions, all while evading detection. The Endeavor's cloaking device and Marcus's expert piloting skills were put to the test as they narrowly avoided several close encounters. Upon reaching the coordinates, they found an enormous space station hidden within a dense nebula. The station, shrouded in secrecy, was a marvel of engineering, with technology that seemed both ancient and advanced. As they docked, a delegation from the Order greeted them, led by a stern but wise figure known as Archivist Rylon. Archivist Rylan listened intently as Marcus and Thrax explained their discovery and the ensuing conflict. The Order, it seemed, had long suspected the existence of such power cores, but had never been able to locate one. Rylan agreed to help, on the condition that the power core be used for the benefit of all species, not just humans. With the Order's resources at their disposal, Marcus and Thrax delved deeper into the Corps' capabilities. The Order's scholars and engineers assisted in deciphering the ancient symbols and stabilizing the energy output. They discovered that the Power Core could be linked to others across the galaxy, creating a network that could provide clean, unlimited energy to countless worlds. As they worked, Word reached them that a coalition of alien factions had formed an uneasy alliance, determined to seize the power core by force. Time was running out, and they needed a plan to protect the core and ensure it wasn't misused. Archivist Rylon proposed a bold strategy to activate the network of power cores and demonstrate its potential as a force for good. By showing its benefits and making its energy accessible to all, they could undermine the faction's motivations for war and build a coalition of their own dedicated to peace and cooperation. Marcus and Thrax agreed, and the Order began preparations to activate the network. They sent out encrypted messages to trusted contacts across the galaxy, rallying support and spreading the word of their intentions. Meanwhile, they fortified the space station, preparing for the inevitable assault. As the coalition fleet approached, the tension aboard the station was palpable. Marcus and Thrax, alongside the Order's members, stood ready to defend their work. The first wave of enemy ships emerged from the nebula, their weapons charged and aimed at the station. In a coordinated effort, the Order activated the power core, linking it to the others in the network. A brilliant surge of energy pulsed through the station, spreading out across the galaxy. The coalition fleet hesitated, awed by the display of power and the sudden influx of clean energy to their home worlds. Broadcasting a message of unity and cooperation, Marcus and Rylan appealed to the coalition's leaders, urging them to see the potential for peace and mutual benefit. The Coalition, faced with the overwhelming support for the energy network and the undeniable benefits it provided, began to waver. In a dramatic turn of events, several factions broke away from the Coalition, choosing to join Marcus, Thrax, and the Order in their vision for a united galaxy. The remaining hostile forces, realizing they were outnumbered and outmaneuvered, reluctantly retreated. 
with the immediate threat neutralized, Marcus and Thrax, alongside the Order of the Vortex, set about establishing a new era of cooperation and technological advancement. The ancient power core, once a potential weapon of destruction, had become a beacon of hope and progress for all. With the coalition retreating and the power core network successfully activated, a sense of cautious optimism spread throughout the galaxy. Marcus, Dr. Thrax, and archivist Rylan stood at the forefront of this new era, determined to ensure the energy network would be used for the betterment of all species. In the days following the Coalition's withdrawal, Marcus and Thrax, along with the Order of the Vortex, worked tirelessly to stabilize the energy output from the power cores. They established communication links with various planetary governments, sharing the technology and knowledge needed to integrate the energy network into their infrastructures. The galaxy began to transform, with once struggling planets now thriving thanks to the clean, abundant energy. However, they knew their work was far from over. The factions that had withdrawn were still out there, and the threat of renewed conflict loomed. Marcus and Thrax devised a plan to secure the power core locations, creating fortified research stations at each site. These stations would not only protect the cores, but also serve as centers of learning and cooperation, bringing together scientists and engineers from across the galaxy. One of their first steps was to hold a summit on the Order's space station, inviting representatives from all major factions and governments. The goal was to formalize agreements and establish a galactic council dedicated to overseeing the energy network and ensuring it remained a force for good. The summit was tense at first, with old rivalries and mistrust threatening to derail the proceedings. Marcus, Thrax, and Rylon took to the stage, presenting their vision for a united galaxy. Marcus shared the story of their discovery and the incredible potential of the energy network. Thrax provided detailed explanations of the technology and its benefits, while Rylon emphasized the moral responsibility to use this power wisely. Slowly, the delegates began to see the possibilities, their skepticism giving way to hope. Amidst the negotiations, a transmission arrived from one of the fortified research stations. A rogue faction had launched an attack, determined to seize control of a power core. The delegates watched in real time as the station's defenses struggled to hold off the attackers. Marcus realized they needed to act swiftly to protect the network and show the galaxy their commitment to peace and security. Mobilizing a fleet of ships from allied factions, Marcus and Thrax led a daring rescue mission to the embattled station. The battle was intense, with the rogue faction deploying advanced technology in a bid to overwhelm the defenders. Marcus's ship, the Endeavor, spearheaded the counterattack, using its agility and firepower to outmaneuver the enemy. On the ground, Thrax coordinated with the station's personnel, using their knowledge of the Power Corps' systems to boost the defensive capabilities. As the tide of battle turned, the rogue faction's forces began to falter. In a final desperate move, they attempted to sabotage the Corps, hoping to create a catastrophic explosion. Marcus and Thrax, with their combined expertise, raced against time to prevent the disaster. Working together, they managed to stabilize the core just as it reached critical levels, averting a catastrophe that could have wiped out the entire station. The rogue faction, seeing their efforts thwarted, surrendered. Returning to the summit, Marcus and Thrax received a hero's welcome. The delegates, inspired by their bravery and determination, unanimously agreed to form the Galactic Energy Council. This new governing body would oversee the energy network, ensuring it remained a tool for peace and progress. With the Council established, Marcus and Thrax continued their work, traveling from planet to planet, helping integrate the energy network and spreading the message of cooperation. The Order of the Vortex played a crucial role, providing the knowledge and wisdom needed to guide this new era. Years passed, and the galaxy changed in ways Marcus had only dreamed of. 
the energy network brought prosperity and stability, fostering unprecedented levels of cooperation between species. The fortified research stations became beacons of learning and innovation, attracting the brightest minds from every corner of the galaxy. Marcus often reflected on his journey, from the moment he received that encrypted message from Alex to the formation of the Galactic Energy Council. It had been a path filled with danger and uncertainty, but also with hope and discovery. He and Thrax had uncovered an ancient power and, with the help of the Order, had turned it into a force for good. As he stood on the bridge of the Endeavor, looking out at the stars, Marcus knew that the galaxy was far from perfect. Challenges and conflicts would always arise, but with the energy network and the unity it had fostered, they were better equipped to face them. The ancient power core, once a symbol of mystery and potential peril, had become a cornerstone of a brighter, more hopeful future.